Hey, what's going on guys? Justin with Tier 1 Gear and EDC Reviews. Today in front of me, I actually have what very well could be one of the best knives of 2023. Now, I know it's just April and we still have a long time to go, but if you would have asked me last year what I thought was going to be one of the best knives of 2022, I would have said this guy right here. Now, this is the Dawn by TW Price Designs, of course. Link in the description as usual, but this thing is absolutely freaking phenomenal. The original I had, the prototype, had a hand rub blade, which I absolutely love the stone wash a lot more because it's a better user finish. And, you know, if you use it a lot more than, you know, just the regular EDC kind of carry, then, yeah, it's going to get scratched up, especially with the hand, uh, hand rub blade. But stone wash barely shows any use at all. Beautifully milled titanium handle. I love the anodized hardware. Milled pocket clip. And of course, this one here is actually a frame lock, which, by the way, is buttery freaking smooth. This guy right here actually has nested liners. I absolutely love that about it. Of course, nice, beautiful milled titanium handle. I love that pattern. Pocket clip to match, of course. All titanium hardware. Blade is stonewashed and M390 as well, but I absolutely love this blade profile. I mean, the overall lines of this knife just flow really, really nicely, and I think he did an excellent job on it. Now, this thing is buttery smooth as well. I like the flipping action on it. Of course, you can spidey flick as well. It's uh, the way it kind of falls out, you kind of have to get a little bit higher, which I'm still getting used to, but it can be done. I think the uh, overall length is right around eight inches. Let me check. Yep, right around eight inches overall, 4.5 on the handle, 3.5 on the blade. The weight on this guy is 3.955. I'm sure that's gonna vary between each model. Slightly, of course, you know, blade grind, stuff like that. They might take a little bit off, you know, one less off another, it happens. But I love the way this uh, backspacer actually floats back there. You can see it's barely sitting uh, at a little bit of a distance away from the handle, which looks really, really good, especially in hand. And speaking of in hand, this thing feels phenomenal. Nice ergonomics, good neutral design. I love the uh, thumb ramp right here. Nice jimping on there. It's not too sharp. It's not going to cut in or dig into your thumb during use. Everything lines up perfectly. And again, he just did an awesome freaking job on this knife. Now, I've always said, somebody that is a knife lover can always come up with a great knife design. You know, I mean, everybody can come up with something really, really cool if they put their mind to it. But following up with that, that's a whole nother thing. This guy killed it, then killed it some more. I mean, <laughs> for your second knife design, Putting out something like this is just absolutely phenomenal, and it really makes me excited to really see what else he has in store. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's working on something else by now, and I really can't wait to see what it is. I'm going to have to uh, probably uh, beat it out of him here soon if I can. Maybe a sneak peek on the channel, if he allows, of course. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean... I'm absolutely blown away by this thing. I mean, they just keep getting better and better. I mean, I'm sure if you actually experience the dawn yourself, then you would know this thing's going to be nice, right? But uh actually comes in three different variations. So if the regular tie thing isn't, you know, your, your thing, should I say, then you can have it anodized. You can do the hardware, anything like that. But he also has one with a black blade and more like a bronze color finish on the handle which looks really freaking good and then there's a blue one as well of course all that can be changed if you send them to somebody like uh richie and lindy with knife modders they can definitely hook it up and make it a little more personalized but i'm absolutely in love with this version right here i love the plain tie it just has a clean look to it and again he did an excellent freaking job on it anyway go check out his website Link in the description. I want to send a huge shout out to Tyler for sending this out. Much appreciated. I absolutely love seeing your work. Y'all stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.